Okay, so on the iPhone, you can just tap here and search for anything on any of these platforms. And so you don't even have to look for the app to do a search. It's super quick, saves you a ton of time and allows you to search through apps that you probably use the most like Google, Twitter, YouTube, Reddit, Instagram and Amazon. So let's say I'm looking for something to buy on Amazon, just type it out, search, click Amazon and there you go. So to get this, click on the link in the description and add this shortcut to your phone. Then go to the shortcuts app, click on the search on module and just place it on your home screen. That's it. Next, if you usually end up with too many tabs on Safari and find yourself closing them one by one, you could actually just long press the tabs icon and you can close all of these tabs in one go. Now, if you go into your photos app, open up a picture, there's an eye icon and that may or may not have stars around it. If you tap on it, it gives you more information about what or who is in the picture. For example, in this case, it just told me more about the breed of my dog. So yeah, as long as your picture has something of general interest and you want to know more about it, you'll probably find it in the eye icon. In fact, another thing about Photos app, you could search for common things. For example, let me look for trees and it's gonna show me all photos in my gallery that has trees in it. Similarly, I could look for, let's say, mountains and it's gonna show me all pictures that have mountains in them. But then if you tap on I, you could go ahead and add a caption and make your photo even more searchable. So I'm just gonna say this is wallpaper. And now if I go into search and look for wallpaper, it's gonna show me all photos that have the caption wallpaper. And you can also tag faces with specific names. So I'm just gonna tap on question over here and tag it with my name, which is Karan. And now all future photos and existing photos will be tagged with the name Karan. So it's pretty cool. Okay, now here's something really cool. Let's say I've got a PDF file from which I want to extract just a few pages. With one shortcut, I can decide which pages. So I can simply select those page numbers and then click on done and my phone will generate a new PDF file with those pages in it. So go click on the link in the description, add this shortcut to your phone, then go into the shortcuts app, open this shortcut and just add it to your home screen and you're all set. Next, what's the first thing someone would do if they stole your phone? They'll turn it off and then you will not be able to locate it at all. And so you want to make sure that even if your phone is turned off, it can be found. And so to do this, go into your Apple ID settings, go into Find My, then click on Find My Phone and make sure that Find My Network is turned on. Another thing you can do is not allow anyone to access your control center when your screen's locked because they can just turn off your Wi-Fi, mobile data, and even Bluetooth. And to disable the control center, go into your Face ID and passcode settings and then scroll all the way down to where it says control center and disable it from appearing on your lock screen. And now no one can access your control center. Okay, next, did you know you could access all of these functions at the top, which is actually harder to reach by just swiping up. And all of these functions are actually available. Of course, these options will change depending on which mode you're in, but yeah, just swipe up and you get all the options. So you've got raw here, you've got raw right there. Photographic styles right here. Yep, you've got it over there too. So yeah, all of them. Next, your camera shutter, okay? If you're in photo mode and you just slide the shutter to the right, it's gonna start taking a video. If you slide it to the left, it's gonna start taking burst shots. And this is the best. If you start swiping it up, it's gonna start zooming in, but at the same time, shoot a video for as long as you hold it down. Pretty cool. Now let's say you've got some actual written text and you quickly just want to convert it into digital text and you know make some edits or send it to someone, right? So when you see your cursor, tap on it and click on this scan text icon. As long as your camera is pointing at the text and your text is not as badly written, it would quickly convert it into digital English text, which you can then copy and paste it anywhere. Uh, entirely up to you. Okay, next. Are you one of those people who hesitate to give their phone to other people because you fear that they might start lurking around? But what if they cannot go to any other app except for the app that you locked them to be in? So for example, in this case, just Instagram. And the only way to get out was if someone knew the phone's unlock code. So it's called guided access and here's how you do it. First go to settings and then into accessibility and then scroll all the way down to guided access. Turn this on. Then go to the app that you want the person to be locked in and tap the power key three times, hit start, put in a password and you're all set. And then to end guided access, just tap the power key thrice 
enter the password that you know and then click on end on the top left corner. That's it. And lastly, your iPhone's camera has an inbuilt translator. Just point it at any foreign text. It could be a packaged box, it could be a road sign, something at the airport or any city that you're traveling to. Select the text, click on the arrow and just hit translate and you'll get the translated text. All right, and that's pretty much it, guys. I've actually done 20 more of these. In a previous video, I'll leave a link right here. Definitely check it out. And of course, a sub to our channel would mean a lot. I'll see you guys in the next one.